Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Welcome to everyone. Uh, what is the agenda for this demo? So the agenda is very simple. Uh, why automation is required? Again, why open source is required? What is the difference between commercial and open source tools? And how open source will satisfy your needs? Benefits and advantages about what is Selenium WebDriver? Okay, so the next one, why automation? I hope most of the people are aware about this topic. So this is the beginning point. Okay, so then only we can able to easily identify uh, whether the tool is suitable or not for our framework or our environment. So why automation? So without automation, example, uh, for every sprint or every release, uh, we need to execute 500 test cases to release the particular product or projects. Okay, assuming that one person executing 100 test cases, so we need five QA resources for every release day. Okay, so how can we reduce that particular five resources dependency in the release day? So only automation is the way. The doing the same task again and again Okay, using manual uh, resources is definitely going to kill our time and as well as money. So the first thing is reduce the manual effort for every sprint or release. And it's very best suitable for uh, Ajay. Uh, just a minute, I will mute them. Yeah, it's a suitable for Agile process, yes. In Agile, they have a release in two weeks once. And nowadays, one week once also. Yeah, nowadays they have a release in uh, weekly ones. So in that case, it's not possible to test all the test cases in uh, weekly ones, regression test cases. Maybe 500 to 5,000, depends upon the application. So without automation, uh, definitely it's not possible to cover all the test cases. <coughs> Uh, the bug escape will happen in case it, there is, the test case is not automated. And the next one is a re reduce release management cycle. Yes, if you are working with the uh, traditional uh, testing or traditional development methodologies such as uh, V model, something else, it, it, it will help us to reduce the uh, cycle period. And we can improve the quality. Yes, we have another same five resources we have. Uh, we have automated uh, 400 test cases out of 500, so we can test except the test cases, maybe the bug escape scenarios, otherwise the special scenarios, security scenarios, whatever is not there in a test case. Okay, we have uh, enough time to test those things, so we can improve the quality in default. And again, we can save money, yes. Example, if you are uh, doing testing with the external people, example, contractor workers, uh, no 5QA resources required, right? So for every release, 
you can uh, have only two or three resources, remaining two resources not required. So in that case, we can reduce and we can save the money. Okay. Again, why open source? Why automation? That's fine. We got answer. We have a 500 test cases. Each and every time we need to execute. So we automated those things. So it's very easy to execute them. Uh, release the products. Okay. Why open source? Okay. Mm, using automation. If you are saying automation, definitely we need to use some tools. Okay. Some tools means HP is also having tools. And IBM also having some. There are some testing tools. But to use those tools, th those are commercial tools. If you want to use those tools, it's not possible for small scale companies. They need to pay a lot of dollars to use that particular tools. I hope you are aware about it. Uh, in that case, open source is the only way to do that particular job. And new technologies. Okay, so example. If you are using any commercial tool, you don't know which technology they build the tool. But here, there is no limitation to you. You can explore the latest technologies. And easy to maintain, yes. If you are using commercial tools, example, if you are facing any issues, such issues, okay, you need to call first, you need to email second, and you need to uh, send a reminder, you need to escalate lot of things are there but in a open source whenever you are installing these open source tools the code is yours you have entire source code if you want to modify you can so easy to maintain and custom frameworks yes the code is yours you can change anything okay even though the main functionality also if you want to change you can The difference between commercial testing tools and open source testing tools. So the coverage, example, I am saying that 500 test cases are there. I am not sure even all the 500 test cases are all automated. Because there is a lot of uh, new uh, or lot of manual, uh, lot of test cases uh, may require manual uh, execution. Example, uh, it should be in a 20, 10 to 20% difference upon the application. Okay. So coverage wise, if the commercial testing tool, we are paying a lot of money, if that particular tool supports or covers 80% of our test case means open source tool will do that 70%, only the 10% uh, difference between open source and commercial. Support, in commercial tool, there should be an excellent support. Maybe it's a delay, but anyway, they will answer for any questions. Some people are that to answer for our questions in commercial environment. But in open source, if your team is effective, then only you will get a, a good support. Or otherwise, it's always limited support because at the time difference, right? So if you are uh, creating our need tickets, okay, it will take two to three hours to uh, change the status to new in open source environment. Okay, that that may happen sometimes only. So I am mentioning that as a limited support. Okay, the next one is cost wise. Yes, very high to, uh, we need to spend a lot of money to use commercial tools, but open source, nothing. No need to worry about it. So the time, yes, high. Why I am saying we need to spend more time for uh, using the commercial testing tool means it's not an execution time, it's not a recording time. It's the time to train the QA resource into the particular tool, okay, and train the team that that is. But in open source, it's very medium. Because it has a lot of options, we can choose the best option and we can use that too. How open source will satisfy your need? Whatever you want to test, you want to test your web application, if you want, do you want to test your desktop application, do you want to test your mobile application, that is easily automatable using open source testing tools. 
this is not only related to water web driver selenium web driver we have a lot of open source testing tools in the market and books forums everything is available online if you have a internet that is fair enough to use any open source testing tool no need to go any training and all but initially it's required once you got a clear idea or once you know how to use those tools so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.